if I just make a big pile, can you make me a bundle sure. deal uh, on stuff? Sure. You ready, buddy? Let's go see what they got. Dagger. Morning. What's the story on these patches? Oh yeah. So uh, we sold gosh, a few of those already, haven't we, Linda? Some of these patches. Have we sold some of those? No, they're, it, I'm selling the set. For fifteen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is Sawyer. Hi, Sawyer. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. There's so much stuff to look at, he doesn't know what to think. If I just make a big pile, can you make me a bundle sure. deal on uh, stuff? Sure. Why don't you put it right here? Alrighty. I assume this is a big enough well, space. Do you need a bigger space? Possibly, yeah. I might okay, get some I'll other stuff out. out there. Yeah. I'll start with Actually, stay. Oh! Yeah. Oh, it Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Watch you on YouTube. Oh, thanks, man. What's your name? Dawson. Nice to meet you, Dawson. That's awesome. Small world. Yeah. You guys find anything? That's kind of funny. Yeah. What is it? Cincinnati Picker. He goes to stuff like this. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Oh, you have a site? Oh, yeah. YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. And if we just kind of call up Cincinnati Picker? Yeah, just search this any picker, you'll find it. Oh, great. We just moved out here uh, before we built the house. We, and uh, we found this old schoolhouse out here, just kind of dilapidated and run down. Yeah. And uh, we kind of had a vision. And I was just telling Richard and Dawson, um, spent about uh, three and a half years, three years, uh, kind of scraping and, you know, getting it to a point. And we did not want to cover up all the beauty of, you know, the history of this place. Right. So, we just sealed the walls and it's really cool. It, it looks great. You guys did a really good job with it. Thank you very much. How old is it? 1872. Wow. Yeah. Yep. So the bones are, are, are great in this building. I mean, yeah. Really... She started me a pile somewhere. Right there. I'm going to add these to it. He's a good little boy. Look at him. <laughs> Walk around. Yeah. And get on the bike. Thank 
Here's the last thing. Okay. okay. Linda had said you guys would kind of work with me on price. I am. I'm going to add it up and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. That sounds good. I appreciate that. Thank you. So it comes to 92. Okay. So how's how's 75? 75 is good. Sound good? Yeah. Exactly. Thank you for working with me. Yeah, no, we appreciate you coming out. You have a five? Yep. Sure I've do. got 80 here. One, two. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you need I'm some gonna, help? Uh, sure, that'll be fine. I'm in that black okay. van there. Are you on our list? I am. Yeah, that's how I saw it. about the sale, actually. Okay. At the last of it? Yep, this is it. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Hey, guys. It is now Monday morning. On Saturday, there really weren't that many garage sales. Like, the season's pretty much over, unfortunately. There was three or four that were really scattered around, so I decided not to go. And my wife and daughter went to Ikea, so it was just me and my son, and happened to look on Yard Sale Treasure Map, and there was a sale that started really late. It started at like 10 o'clock, and it was only two miles from my house. So I went and checked it out, and I'm glad I did. So here's everything I got. I think it totaled up to like 92, and they worked with me on price, and I got it all for 75. And I've got a mixture of stuff that's gonna go in my antique booth, and then stuff that I'm gonna put on eBay. Got a couple fishing reels. Uh, these are both Fluger. It's P-F-L-U-E-G-E-R. Um, these are pretty decent reels. Uh, these um, vintage ones have a pretty good collector's value. So if you ever see old Fluger reels, pick them up. Let's see, that one's the Supreme. This one is, what does it say? Fluger Akron. Not totally sure what they're worth, but I'd guess at least $20 or more each. I thought these old patches were really cool. These are old MLB patches. But from the sounds of it, uh, they were homemade and they look homemade. They've definitely got some age to them, and I'm going to list them individually. I'm thinking they should sell between $10 to $15 each. Here's an old fire bell. Obviously, I don't have anything to like hook it up to to test it, but it just has a cool look to it. That's going to go to the antique booth. Got a handful of books. I like finding old, unique, you know, just different books when I can. This one's called What is Wrong with the Movies. Let's see what year it's from. 1938. Yeah. So that's a pretty old one right there. Uh, this is old hair culture. I've done good selling niche books like this. This is from 1943. And then here is a uh, Cincinnati Union Terminal history book. This is now a museum in Cincinnati, but it used to be a uh, train station terminal. Let's see how old this one is. 1933. Yeah, so these are some cool old books. These will all go on eBay. They might take a little while to sell but I think I'll make a little bit of money on these. And then the last three things will all go to the antique booth. This is an old washboard. Those always tend to do well. Um, here's a no parking sign. And then back here is a big metal sled. Snowing by Blazon. Just thought it had a cool look to it and it's the right time of year to be selling that stuff. They were having that sale in an old schoolhouse that was built in 1872 and the guy was telling me the story about how they bought it and rehabbed it and it just looks amazing. They've got all kinds of old decorations in there and I love seeing when somebody can salvage an old building like that and instead of just demolishing it, they, you know, restore it and make it look really good and then, you know, keep as much of the original bones of it intact as they possibly can. So that was just really cool to hear that story. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.